All right, guys, if you're anything like me, hopefully not, then you've tried reading horror books in the hope they would scare you, and although they may be decent books, they haven't given you the same feeling you got when you saw The Ring for the first time. But I am here today to tell you I have found a book that legitimately creeped me out and had an incredibly gripping mystery. Now, I don't want to hype up the scare factor too much because I've come to realize that many people are scared by completely different things, and books overall tend to not scare people as much as movies do. With that being said, this book <laughs> made me institute a rule where I could not read it past a certain hour at night because it kept making me jump at every single sound. And that book is... Bone White by Ronald Malfi. The plot follows Paul Gallo as he searches a wooded Alaskan town known as Dred's Hand for his black sheep twin brother who was last seen there. He believes his brother might have been one of the many victims of a recently caught serial killer and as he searches for answers in this mountain town he's soon boxed out by almost every resident and it seems as though the townspeople might be hiding something from the outside world, including the police. Throughout his search, Paul will travel down a seemingly endless spiral of madness as he seeks out the truth, and once he finds it, he may not like what he sees. I really had next to no complaints about this book. The whole way through, I was incredibly captivated by the mystery of it all, because you get just the tiniest breadcrumbs and most of the time Paul is running into dead ends with these townspeople who refuse to tell him what's going on. It kept me guessing up until the last couple chapters and even when I thought I knew exactly what was going on, it found a way to turn the tables on me and have me guess again and again. One of my favorite parts about the book was just the feel of this little town that he's in. It's just this tiny town in the middle of these really foggy woods. You can just tell that there's something way off about it, but you can't put your finger on why you feel that way. The town doesn't like outsiders, and instead of it being a town where you can't leave like in some other stories that kind of have this trope, they want nothing more than for Paul to leave the town and never return. I also really love how it built up the history of him and his brother and seeing Paul's dedication to finding his brother was really admirable. But getting back to my original point, there were certain scenes in this book that were so creepy, some of them involved a sheep's head, and some of them were just descriptions of things that had happened in the past, not even something that was actively happening to Paul in the story which I think is a really cool feat to pull off. It definitely had me looking over my shoulder late into the night and even turning it off a couple hours before bed, like I mentioned before. I felt like the characters were really interesting, even like the side characters who only appear for a little while. I think they all had like big personalities and their dialogue and everything was just written really well and true to who those characters are. Anyways, that's my mini review for Bone White. If you feel like you need some suspense and horror in your life, definitely check it out. If you enjoy a good mystery, this is definitely the book for you. I cannot stress how good the mystery in this book is. Um, and also, if you like characters that have complex relationships with each other and a lot of like soul searching and stuff like that, then I definitely think you'll find a lot to love here. And it's scary, which is pretty rare for horror books, I feel like. I've been looking for a long time for something that would, you know, creep me out a little bit, and I definitely think this did that at certain points. It had a good mix of having just like this mystery where you're kind of guessing and trying to figure out, and then in other scenes, there's just like this major creep factor that kind of gives you the chills a little bit. I really enjoyed that. If you enjoyed this content, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons down below and ring the little bell icon to get notified when we put up new content. We're also on Twitter and Discord, so check out the description down below for links to those things. I've kind of gone down into a horror rabbit hole lately, so I'll have a video showing you guys 
what I've been reading after I read a couple more. They've all been really good, but Bone White is definitely the best so far. Stay creepy, and we'll see you in the next video.